Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behavior, the Earth's Mightiest Action Figure Video Podcast. So take off your pants, crack a beer, let's talk toys. Let's talk about Retro War Machine. Crank up the ACDC, it's time to go to war. Here he is. A lot of people might say, Oh, come now, David. This is just the same as the deluxe version, but with fewer accessories. And to that I would say, You're right. But he does have some nice things going for him. Mainly this popping paint deco, which just makes him stand out on the shelf so beautifully. Basic bottom line, spoiler for this review, he's really, really good if you don't have the deluxe. If you have the deluxe, kind of surplus to requirements, you know what I mean? But as a standalone figure, just on his own, I really, really dig this. Just like I dug the Deluxe when he came out two years ago. But this, what harkens to my nostalgia, is that the white with the blue accents, full on Marvel vs. Capcom. That's what this thing is here. It's just, I, I, I'm in the arcades again and I love that. That's what pushed me over the edge to buy it. Along with, of course, this beautiful, Beautiful! Boy, Aki's beautiful card back here. And they've just stepped up their game so much with this. Just straight up taking the 90s designs, zhuzhing them up. They're bigger, brighter, bolder than we remember. And he looks so good inside the clamshell. So if you have the space and just the room to do it, ah! Having this on the wall, this adds so much value to the overall package. But unfortunately, I don't have a mansion with gigantic walls to put my action figures up, so... Don't need it. So instead, I can only judge this guy by the plastic he's made of. And what I'll say is, he holds up pretty well, but compared to this dude, the original, uh, some cracks do start to form, but more specifically, comes down to personal preference. So yeah, the white on here, or sort of pearlescent, call it a pearlescent sort of white sheen, is lovely because it does stand out. It does jump off the shelf more. He has less than this guy, because this guy was the deluxe. He came with the roadie head, he came with the booster jets, the smoke coming out of the barrels. There was a lot of stuff there. So this guy is less, but also I think he costs a little bit less than this dude did as well. I think this dude was about 30, whereas this is 25. So this is why he's good. This is why I want to give this guy a good score, because he's the average price of a Marvel legend. He, Because the card back prices seem to be jumping around all over the place, like freaking Toad for 35 bucks. Hell no. Hell no. But this guy, for 25, you are quids in. This is a bargain. It's a billy bargain. All right, if you don't have the original. If you do have the original, then you've got to really want this different paint deco. And you see, there's nice sort of things, but it's up to you if you think they're nice. Like, he's got the, the beam, the uni beam on here. And it's almost like a little bit cell shaded. It looks the way that they've done the, the, the glimmer reflection on here. But also, i got to say, the circle is not perfectly aligned like it's really finicky to be like oh it, 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 it's, it's one quarter of a nanometer out of the center but it is one quarter of a nanometer out of the center and as Tupac Shakur would say realize 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 when they are one quarter of a nanometer outside of the center of the circle so yeah, that might irritate you a little bit also like little aesthetic changes where I'm thinking ah, you just change that for the sake for the sake of changing it like I love the missiles on this guy with the kind of effect. And they've got this mean, dark red look. And these have a bright orange sort of paint job. But that's not an improvement. That, that just looks a little bit tackier. I think it just looks a little more toyish. That's, that's not so great. I think that's a bit of a shame. But I do love the blue accents. It's funny. One of the nicest things that I like about this, where I think it really pops. That was a rubbish one. That was better where it really pops is with the blues. The blues inside the, the, the gun barrels. I think that's really nice. Again, Marvel vs. Capcom, baby. It's War Machine with the white and the blue that just screams 90s to me. And I think that's so cool. But of course, if you've got the accessories on, you're not gonna see it anyway. But it's nice to know that it's there. Also, a little improvement, this war machine has teeny tiny little yellow dot eyes inside the, the visor. I think it looks a bit naff, to be honest. Didn't need to do it. This one just has the plain black eyes, looks way more badass. 
I'm, I'm much, much happier with that look. That looks cool. He just looks, I don't know, sort of sleek. He, he reminds me, of course, for obvious reasons, of Negative Spider-Man. Which is like such a basic figure. You think, oh, do you really need this? But you have him in hand and it's just... There's something cool about the stark black and white contrast that I just really, really like. I dig it. So also a difference between these two is that this guy comes with a repulsor hand. And it just feels wrong to have an Iron Man character without a repulsor hand. So that's great to have that there. However, what is a repulsor hand without a repulsor blast of some kind? Well, we're going to find out with this guy because he don't come with no repulsor blasts. So you can't plug anything into this open hand. So basically, he's just standing there going, Hello! <laughs> While firing off missiles of death all around him. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, I'm War Machine. So I'm sure, look, come on, if, you, if you're buying this guy, you're probably a bonkers collector like the rest of us. So I'm sure you have a fodder box full of repulsor blasts that you can put in here if you want. So... That's okay. But honestly, like, I'm not going to linger too much on this because it's... You, you know this guy. You know him from before and this is him again with a different colour scheme. So rather than banging on about the same thing, let's do a few size comparisons because that's always fun. So let's have some fun with some figure comparisons, shall we? So let's just pair War Machine up with a couple of his Avengers type comrades here. So we've got a Mezco Captain America. Always, man. Gotta love, gotta love those Mezcos. But we're gonna see how he compares to another legend as well. We have Stealth Iron Man here, and you can see that the bodies are similar, but War Machine definitely has some more bulk and some more girth. You know, he, he feels like a War Machine. That's what I always loved about War Machine, was that he is just Iron Man with all the extra bells and whistles. So that's a good little comparison just to show that he is like that bit of a violent military upgrade basically and then we've got my kind of go-to red and gold iron man there which is the mezco is it dx i think they call it now just for fun let's show you how big <laughs> select hulk is select hulk here he's just huge but i i dig him there's a review coming up of this guy very very soon so those are my kind of go-to avengers along with you know I love mixing up lines and stuff. So we do have some Marvel Legends representation with Thor there as well. The Marvel Legends Thor. Still, I think the best classic Thor you're going to find until Mafex comes out. But I think the Mafex might be a little small. Now, just out of interest, even though this is a War Machine review, I'm just going to show you. These are my kind of go-to Avengers here now. And I love the fact that it is a mix, a mix, a mashup of different lines. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. So we'll put War Machine back in the spotlight where he deserves. And let's throw in a few other, just a few other random figures. Let's have some fun. So I'll show you how he compares with my other newest card back figure, which is, of course, the Lethal Lizard. And you can see the Lizard, yeah, he is a little small. I, I really, really love the Lizard. I mean, granted that he's crouching slightly, but I would like a bit more size on him. But he still looks pretty awesome. And I'm going to take the Hulk out of the background. I'll, I'll pop him over here. He's still, he's still going to dominate wherever he is. And then let's just throw in some, some random characters to see you or to show you how he compares to other lines. So I'll keep Blizzard there, but we'll move Cap. And we have another armored character. We've got the Valiverse Swarm Trooper, one of my favorite figures of the year with his little winged upgrade. These two dudes, these look wicked next to each other. That's a, that's a cool combination there. And then we're going to go over to G.I. Joe, which is only a stone's throw from Valiverse, with one of the... Oh gosh, I forget what he's called now. I know you guys are going to be screaming at the <laughs> YouTube screen. But yes, th this dude, the Urban Pacification Cobra Trooper. These three guys together? That looks wicked. I'm, I'm down to clown with that. And then just some other random size comparisons. because I, I just love putting random lines together just to show. I'm going to take this guy out. And here we have a Tengu Warrior from the Hasbro Power Rangers line. And I, just, I know, it's like, why? Why the heck not? And while we're being silly and having fun, we got Mortal Kombat Kintaro. Just to show you the different size comparisons, how all these figures match and measure up. Although he's not, he'll measure up, but he won't stand up. So hang on, 
There we go, Kintaro can stand on his own two feet again. And yeah, that's a good little indication as to how War Machine scales with these other lines, but essentially just, just for funsies, we'll put him back with his Avengers compatriots, because that's what it's all about here. The classic Marvel characters, and then big old Hulk in the background there. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And actually just for fun, because I know, I know a lot of people, y'all don't like this cap. Well, you've got the beautiful 20th anniversary cap. Yep, I know I say that I don't like to double up on characters, but even when I got the Mezco, I couldn't bring myself to get rid of the 20th anniversary because he's so gorgeous. That, that is a marvelous Avengers team right there. So guys, as a final score for this War Machine, I'm going to give him probably a surprisingly good 7 out of 10. That is a very high score for model behavior. But as a standalone action figure, he is excellent as a normal price. That's the thing, it's a normal priced figure. Yes, he's an old one that they've just repainted. But if you don't have a War Machine and you want a War Machine, you get so much bang for your buck with all the different effects, the extra hand, the beautiful card back. It's a lovely, lovely package. So I give this dude a lot of credit and I just, I, I just like the bright, bold look of him. I think for me personally, I really, really dig him. However, if you have the deluxe, then this doesn't even really get too much of a grade because it is surplus to requirements. I put up on my Facebook group, I was like, hey guys, help me out here. Who stays, who goes? And literally, Everyone, I think, said deluxe. Deluxe all the way. The the gun metal, the silver, all the ac extra accessories. Keep this guy. So I was like, okay, War Machine. It's a brief, fleeting romance that we had. But it's time for us to see other people. But in the meantime, I've really enjoyed having this guy here. So if you want a War Machine, you don't have the deluxe, boom. Go pick this guy up. You won't be disappointed. And folks, that does it for my review of War Machine. War Machine! And yeah, I thought he was pretty cool, if you don't have the other one. So folks, what do you think of War Machine? What do you think about the card backs? What do you think about the repainted re-releases? I think they're harmless, because it's not like they're part of a wave. You either get them or you don't, and that's cool. Give new collectors a chance to get older figures. More like that, please. So guys, thanks very much for watching, and until next time, keep displaying model behavior. Let's talk toys. Let's talk about retro. Come on! Hey, stop right there. Before you go anywhere, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really want to help Dave out, Lord knows he could use it. You seen that t-shirt? I think he bought it in 2003. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, go to patreon.com forward slash displaying model behavior. Or get yourself a channel membership. And if you want to be part of the community, go over to Facebook or join the Instagram. All of the links are in the description below. All right, that's my work done. What, you guys just going to stand there? Yeah, I thought so. Leave it to Rody to do all the work. Anyway, I'm out of here. Oh, no booster jets.